Hello, this is uh, Simon from Witness Gaming, doing more Space Engineers, um, and I thought I'd show you something which I've uh, just, uh, I'm not going to say invented, but discovered, um, put into working order. Um, this is my sort of test server, I mean you can see the ridiculous idea there, the cannon thing that I've been trying to make for ages that doesn't quite work. Um, got all sorts of ridiculous plans going on here. Um, this is actually the first large ship I built. Um, I built it ages ago, many patches ago. Heavy armor hadn't been introduced, hence the fact that it's light armor. Um, all sorts of things hadn't been done. They used to have, um, uh, what do you call it, ladders, which are now not ladders. Um, so this is obviously the hangar area. Uh, these ladders are no longer ladders, so you have to use the stairs. Um, but yes, um, I decided to do something with this ship because I was it's completely obsolete and rubbish. Um, and the latest patch has introduced uh, what are they called? Artificial mass blocks. So what that does is it is a block which is affected by gravity if you supply power to it. Um, so this is making it much easier for gravity cannons. Um, gravity cannons can work and actually send warheads, uh, wherever we are, warheads now, um, on little shells that you can make out of these artificial mass blocks because gravity can now affect it. So you don't need asteroid cannons anymore. Um, but I, while trying to make a cannon, actually, um, discovered this other effect, which I thought, that'd be an interesting idea. Um, so I shoved it in this thing and it just about works. Um, it's an experimental way of getting around without using engines. Um, using gravity, and I'll show you what I mean. Um, just jetpack in here. Um, this ship, one, uh, I got bored when I was making it. So you may find it is not at all complete. As in, you'll walk out here and just fall down to empty space. Um, but this is the thing I've made, um, gravity drive or whatever. It consists of, uh, there's another one exactly the same in the other side of the ship. Uh, it consists of gravity generators, um, all turned off at the moment because obviously otherwise I'd be flying that way. And um, they all point towards the front of the ship so they're projecting gravity to the front. And these artificial mass blocks which are also all turned off. Um, and the general idea of the drive is uh, you turn off regular gravity, which I think I've got uh, get off. Got over here. Um, got a gravity generator somewhere, have I? I don't know where my gravity generators are, anyway. Um, I've got regular 2 Gs of gravity, just for turn my jetpack off, in the ship. I've got gravity in the ship. Um, you turn that gravity off, and turn all these gravity generators on, and then turn the artificial mass blocks on and the gravity pushes against the blocks and pushes them forwards towards the front of the ship but they're attached to the ship so it actually propels the ship forwards and I know that sounds crazy but it does actually work um, just try and land that ridiculous design of the ship that's not anywhere near finished and there you can see the other identical copy just go to the cockpit um, it does take quite a lot of fiddling around to make the drive work but I'm going to try and show you it working here. If we just go out, um, must remember <laughs> to turn to, to press Z there to turn inertia dampeners off because otherwise the engines. Um, I'll, I'll just show you the ship does work normally. It does have engines. You can fly it around. Uh, it's a bit big and slow and rubbish, um, but it does work. And um, but yes, you must turn inertia dampeners off because otherwise they try and stop the ship moving forward. They don't stand a chance because the gravity is too strong, um, but they try and it's just wasted energy. Um, so what I'm going to do, first of all, is turn the ship gravity off, and then I'm afraid there are... how many gravity generators are there? 36 gravity generators pushing forwards, um, so I'm now going to speed up me turning those on. Okay, um, so the gravity generators are all on now, so if I uh, 
get out, you'll see I fly this way, because there are now 35, oh, I must have missed one, 35 Gs pushing towards the front of the ship, um, but you can simply negate that with your jetpack. Um, I must have missed one, because there's 36 generators, so I'm going to have to go through them all again, I do apologise for this. There we go, gravity generator 2. So now, um, 36 Gs all pushing towards the front of the ship. Um, and you can see, I'm not really that bothered, all of these generators are now turned on. And they make a pleasant humming noise. Okay. Um, so now I'm going to go back to the cockpit and turn on all of these artificial mass blocks and you'll see what happens. Um, notice earlier when I was uh, using the regular engines how slow the acceleration was because it's such a massive heavy ship um, well I, I can show you now turn dampeners back on acceleration if you look at the speed in the bottom right it's very slow to accelerate um, it does get there but it's it's a slow heavy massive ship um, so I'm going to turn all these on I'll speed this up again Okay, so now all the artificial mass blocks and the gravity generators are being powered. Um, so the gravity drive's on now, and if I just exit out of this, the ship should fly forward at a uh, much higher acceleration. Which it has, the top speed has been reached immediately. <laughs> and that is gravity drive. Um, I forgot to turn the inertia dampeners off, you can see the engines are tr struggling to slow me down, but they're not doing a thing, so I'll just turn that off, and there you go. Um, you can actually steer the ship uh, in this mode, except I've just broken something, but we won't worry about that. Um, <laughs> that was my other idea of a turret just flying off there in the background. Um, of course, it's is it being pulled by the gravity as well? Oh no, it's just because we're going at a certain speed. Don't worry, I'm a huge noob. Um, but it seems you can actually steer using this um, drive, and it seems much faster than regular engines. Um, but it does take a long time to turn on and off. Um, but I'm really impressed with this. This is ridiculously much, much better than I <laughs> thought it would be. I'm just trying to turn around. It's so fast, this thing. There's my asteroid cluster and all my random experiments. Uh lag! Uh. But there we go. You can see the engines are not on at all. I'm just gravitying along. Um, the only problem with this uh, is it will be affected by other gravity fields. So if there's an extremely strong gravity field facing the other way, um, I will presumably stop and start flying backwards. Um, and if I fly through lots of other ships with their own gravity, um, I'll probably mess up and crash into lots of things. Um, but yeah, I'm really impressed with this. This is a huge amount of speed, considering. I guess I'm going to have to finish this ridiculous ship now. Anyway, um, that was my gravity drive. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope it actually uh, inspires some more fine-tuning. I'm sure this can be made much better. Um, and thank you very much for watching.